Gordon. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Yep. You know, doing all right. You know, living life. Had a good practice. Just had some fun, man. You know, just came out there, practiced the way we need to. All right, well, let's take it serious now. <laughs> how, how did the last week feel after you guys didn't get any tackles in the backfield against TCU? You guys had a bunch last week. How did that feel for you guys? Uh, it felt pretty good. That was really a point of emphasis. We were like consistent on throughout the week. Like, hey, we didn't get as much production as we wanted to, especially up front. We didn't show that we could be a dominant front, a dominant force up front. So that was our main emphasis of last week, was just being more physical, playing on their side of the ball, playing on their side of the football. and. Uh, it just worked out when we, you know, just put more emphasis on it, practice that every day. That was our goal. That was our mission going into the game, and it worked out in our favor. Jordan, obviously you played in some big-time environments before you transferred here. How did last Saturday at Folsom Field kind of stack up for you? Folsom Field, it was definitely electric. It was <laughs> it was a whole different vibe. Like, when I tell you, I've never been in an environment like that. I've been in some big-time games for sure. I've seen some big crowds, but, like, coming out here to Folsom and just seeing not just the turnaround from last year to this year, but just the – drive of all the fans wanting to come out there just all the people that wanted to be on the sideline i've never seen anything like it there were so many legends just on the sideline some people in the stands it was just insane i've never been around an environment quite like this and i'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep getting better do you feel like last week's game could be a turning point for you guys as a defense obviously in week one you guys are still pretty getting used to playing with each other with most of the defensive guys coming in the summer yeah. do you feel like you guys are now kind of gelling and you know, in sync on defense? I feel like, yeah, we definitely are coming together as a defense. And now that we've set that standard for ourselves of, hey, we can show that we're a dominant force, we a force that we can play, we can play up to our potential, and we see what we can do at our best. Well, not even at our best, but just playing in unison, you know? So I feel like this was definitely a turning point of showing ourselves, hey, this is what we can do. This is what we're going to be able to do. And this is what we need to strive for week after week after week. So definitely, I would say that's a turning point, And it's just going to you know, put more emphasis on it. Like he had said, we got to put more emphasis on it throughout each week to week to make sure, hey, we're still playing on their side of the line. Hey, we're still playing on their side of the ball. We're still showing that tenacity, that physicality for our defensive line in front. So yeah, I would say it's a little, I would say it's a turning point for us. We asked some of the guys this last week, but how have you gone about maybe learning about these big rivalry games here in Colorado, Nebraska last week, CSU this week, these games have mean so much to the fans and, and the football alums. Uh, definitely, uh, it's crazy because where I live at, there are a bunch of football Colorado alums and they've been basically giving me the uh, go breakdown of everything. So I have some neighbors that would tell me, hey, this is the Nebraska game. This is the breakdown. This is what happened so many years ago. This is why the rivalry. And now I'm still learning a little bit about this Colorado State rivalry as well. And I have a few people that know about it, such as uh, a man by the name of Nick Ferguson, if any of you all know him, he's been helping me a lot. He talks to me a lot. Uh, Jeff Hauser, he was telling me a little bit more about the Colorado, uh, just the rivalry and everything. And then just the vibe around here is just, every, as we said last week, we were taking it personal. Last week, we were taking it personal this week just because of all the rivalries and everything. So you could tell by the air around here and the way people are lining up for tickets, trying to get in. Uh, Definitely, this is a rivalry game. It's going to be a big game, and I feel like, you know, I'm just learning more and more as I go. So by Friday, if you ask me the same question, I bet you I can tell you the breakdown of the entire Colorado State, Colorado history. <laughs> is it harder to prepare for back-to-back -back rivalry games than it would be to other games, or is it all the same? I feel like for us, we just prepare the same, whether it's a rivalry game, whether it's a regular game, whether it's, well, all of them are not regular games. It's basically our championship from week to week. You know, we always trying to go on and up. So the pre preparation never changes. We always prepare the same way, whether it's going in for extra film, focusing on what we need to focus on throughout the week. You know, uh, the preparation is always going to stay the same. So even though it is a rivalry game, we are taking it into our mind. Hey, this is a rivalry game. We know the history and the significance behind it, but we also know it's also just another game. We need to go out here, prepare the same way we need to, mentally prepare the same way we need to, and treat it like any other game. However, we know in the back of the back of our minds how significant it is. You've worked, worked in a handful of defenses in your college career. How do you feel like this one's different from ones you've worked in prior? So with this one, I feel like I have more freedom as you know, my position, not just in rushing the passer and, you know, dropping, but I also believe that Coach Kelly puts us all in prime position to make plays. As long as we do our job and play the assignments that we want, the plays are definitely going to come to us. Uh, a lot of defenses are a lot like that, but I feel like ours is much more complex in the way that our defensive coordinator thinks outside the box of different defensive coordinators. He knows things that a lot of coaches don't know. And we have such a great coaching staff here with so much years of experience and expertise. It's like they can look at a play, see how it works out from practice and just, you know, we're gonna adjust this, change the play, and then we run it on Saturday and automatically it works, you know? So that's just the way that I see it. I feel like this defense that I'm in, it really 
not just puts me in prime position to make plays, but also puts me in the position to show my versatility as well, whether it be dropping, whether it be rushing the passer, whether it be anything this defense needs. I feel like it shows not just people's talent and abilities, but also their versatility, not just me, but everybody on the team. Thank you, Jordan. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all.